Hi, my name is Dana Beck. Welcome to my video. And today, what I'd like to, sh I want to ask you a question before I get started. Let me ask you a question. Does your domain name, does the domain name that you choose for your website, is that important? Absolutely. Domain names are very, very important. And let me explain why. When you're selecting a domain name, when you're thinking up of a name for your website, you know, one thing that you want to be very, very, you know, cognizant of, very careful of, you don't want to come up with a domain name that's kind of spammy sounding. Like, for instance, you know, makefastmoney.com or getcashfast.com. These are very spammy type domain names. And more times than not, you know, any spam software will pick those up and flag those. So you definitely want to stay away from those kind of domain names. And some of the best, some of the probably the most effective domain names out there are like three letters. And I want to give you some examples of three letter uh, domain names. Like for instance, look at these. MSN.com, very easy to remember. Uh, MLB.com, Major League Baseball, MLB.com, very, very easy to remember. CNN.com, ATT.com. You've got And mail. the key here is you want people to remember the name of your website. You want people to remember your domain name so they don't have to, you know, go get a pencil, write it all out. So they, you know, so it's very easy to remember. Now, supposing you don't want to use this strategy or you can't come up with a three-letter domain name. Well, another strategy that you can use is a single word, one word domain names. Let me show you some, you know, examples of some of these. Like, for instance, Google. I don't know what a Google is. I suppose if I Googled the word Google, you know, I could, I could come up with the definition. But, <clears throat> but I do know what Google is in terms of it's a search engine and everybody uses Google to search for things on the Internet. So, you know, Google, one word domain name. Amazon, another great example. Microsoft, you know, duh. I mean, everybody knows what Microsoft is. Verizon. Dell, these are all one word domain names that are very, very effective. All right, supposing then, you know, you, you can't come up with a three letter domain name, and or supposing you can't come up with a single word for your website. Well, you can also use a descriptive domain name. And let me give you an example of what some of those look like. For instance, look at some of these. You know, the container store. What are you going to find on the website? The, you know, the containerstore.com. What are you going to find there? Well, you're not going to find hunting gear. No, you're going to find contain, you know, anything relating to containers. And how, how about Bed Bath and Beyond? Well, you know, you're not going to find baby formula there. You're going to find, you know, pillows and blankets and, and so much more. You know, pretty much a, anything under the sun relating to your home and furnishing your home and things like that. What are you going to find at AutoZone? Well, you're not going to find pillows and bed sheets at the AutoZone. No, you're going to find everything that pertains to your automobile and, you know, getting it to run perfectly and, you know, supplies and parts and so forth. And again, these descriptive names, these are only three examples, but there's, there's hundreds more out there just like this. These three descriptive domain names leaves no question on what's on that website. So if someone sees that domain name, they know what they're going to find there. And again, these are very, very effective. So you can use three-letter domain names. You can use a one-word domain name or a descriptive domain name. Now, if you're stuck in trying to figure out, you know, trying to come up with an effective domain name for your website, there are two great sites that are really, really helpful. And I've used these before, namemesh.com and leandomainsearch.com. These are great websites because all you need to do is put in your keywords, hit enter, and it'll bring back to you a host, a whole list of different ideas using those keywords uh, for our domain name. Really, really effective tool, really great tool, if you're, especially if you're stuck trying to come up with a name for your website. So these are two great tools that you should utilize when, again, trying to come up with a name for your website. So again, what's in a name? Well, when it comes to domain names, they're very, very important. <clears throat> and what we talked about today is you can utilize the three-letter domain name, 
the one word domain name or a descriptive domain name for your website. And using any one of these strategies will be effective. And again, the bottom line is you want people to remember your website, remember your URL, remember your domain name. Uh, that's really important. And if, you don't, and if you are interested in learning more about how you can uh, gain more knowledge and more skill on how to build your own business online and how to be more effective online, uh, just go to this link right here. Let's go to this link right here and you can learn more about how you can be effective online, you know, building, building your website to earn a steady income. So thank you so very, very much for watching. And again, go to this link right here if you'd like to learn more. And um, I hope to see you again in my next video. Thank you so very much. And you take care now. Have a great day. Bye-bye.